For those of you that do not know me, my name is Andrea Rose. Uh, my husband is Lewis. Uh, he uh, helps with music occasionally. Um, I am the lesser known of the Roses. I like to hide, hide behind the scenes and the background. Uh, for those of you who know me personally, uh, you know this is way outside of my comfort zone. It's just to give you guys a little bit of a backstory. Um, uh, for those of you that don't know, I've been walking through a stage three cancer battle since October of 21. Um, and I do not know how people walk through a cancer battle um, without faith. Um, Coulter um, mentioned crisis um, from the pulpit this past week and intentionality and purpose being sent and multiple different things that he had preached about. And I've felt led to share for several months now and been putting it off um, because I, this is not my thing. Every part of this battle has not been easy. Um, the surgery ended in sepsis. I've had a reaction to the medication every single treatment. Um, it was, it would be very easy to um, be frustrated, overwhelmed. Um, it was, and it is, uh, but um, the whole purpose of recording this video was to share a few things um, that I've learned on this battle. Um, you know, I mentioned that without faith, I don't know how anybody could do this. Um, I thought um, that my faith was deeply rooted and, and it was, I had peace throughout all of this. Um, maybe that didn't always show outwardly, outwardly. Um, but um, I, I really learned that um, maybe my faith wasn't as grounded as it needed to be. So my question to you all, something that I learned during this battle, but um, you know, is if you're given a really bad diagnosis, um, or something in your life is huge, seems insurmountable. Um, are you okay if God doesn't move that mountain? And that was the question, like something that I dealt with during this whole battle was, um, am I okay if God doesn't move this mountain? All that being said, I wanted to, um, share a few things that I learned along this journey. Um, one, ask for help. And the other main thing that I wanted to share with everybody is life is busy. Life is busy for everybody. And there are things that vie for our time. And I just wanted to challenge everyone. How are you spending your time? Chasing things and activities or chasing people and giving of your time? Uh, life is not guaranteed. If you were given a bad diagnosis tomorrow, would you have anything that you regret? Before this cancer battle, I could, I, I thought I could honestly say that I lived my life with no regrets. As most of you that do know me, know that I am a doer and I run into every situation. But I just wanted to challenge everybody that you know, what are you doing with your time? And also, if God doesn't move that mountain, are you okay? We don't have to have all the answers. Um, to come alongside people, it doesn't take a lot. Text messages, just checking in. Um, don't take but a few seconds, but mean the world. To non-believers, uh, to people that are struggling, uh, or, you know, it, it doesn't take a whole lot of time to send a text message. Uh, in fact, I text a lot of people while, while in the bathroom and instead of reading a magazine. <laughs> so what can you do um, to make a huge difference for somebody else? It doesn't take a whole lot to make a big difference.